Hello, this is Rage Against the Clampdown. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> sorry, sorry, Desecrate Conformity. I, I was just mocking you out of jest, not out of spite. Anyway, uh, what's up, guys? I just want to take uh, three political quizzes for you guys. That Why do I always do that? Th three. Three. Anyway. Um, I just want to take three political quizzes he did and then talk about my 100 subscribers. Uh, really happy I finally hit 100. Uh, it's not a huge deal, I know. You know, whatever. It's just YouTube. It's just the internet. Don't make a big, too big of a deal out of it. You know, uh, I'll talk about it later. But um, this is going to be a long video because I want to do three quizzes. <coughs> excuse me. Three quizzes in one video. Um, and then to top it off, I'm going to talk a little, bit, a little bit about my 100 subscribers and what you can expect from me next. Um, so here we go. Uh, I'm going to take the three quizzes that he took and see where I stand. I doubt I'm going to stand very much far from where he, um, where he did. Um, so, so the first question, uh, I'm taking the political ideology quiz on Quiz Farm. I'm pretty sure that's the same one he did. I'm taking the political compass quiz and taking the C4SS quiz, the Center for a Stateless Society quiz. You'll find all those quizzes in the description, so don't worry about, you know, where you can find them or whatever. So let's start off with the political ideology quiz. It says, every number one, every aspect of the economy should be jointly owned by employees. Well, see, I disagree. Even though my preference is that, you know, I think a good portion of the economy could and should be, well, could be jointly owned by the employees and probably should, um, although not definitely. Um, I, I can't agree with this. I, I for sure can't agree with this. Um, so I... I gotta disagree. I, I'll somewhat disagree because um, I don't think every aspect of the economy should be jointly owned by employees. But I don't think you know every aspect of the. Uh, I don't think every aspect of the economy should be conjointly, or or should be anything. I mean, it should be a plurality of things. Left to their own devices, most people will cooperate and help each other out. Um, somewhat disagree slash. I don't know. Left to their own devices is kind of iffy. Um, what what kind of person we're dealing with matters. What those devices are matters. Um, what people define as cooperation and actual help matters in the context. So I'm kind of neutral about leaving people to their own devices. I generally think you know people should stay out of each other's business. You know unless they have a good reason to sus suspect otherwise. But this can be taken way too far by some libertarians. I think the government and corporation should cooperate to organize society. Strongly disagree, of course. Authority should be centralized. I stop right there. Strongly disagree. United States should should uh, should uh, use uh, its military to protect human rights around the world. Strongly disagree. Uh, well, uh, I don't think they can protect human rights, so I strongly disagree. Human abortion continue to be safe and legal in the United States. Um, I'm kind of indifferent about that. I don't really know too much about abortion. Um, class struggles is driving force behind history. I uh, largely agree with that. Moral values are probably the most important issue in the United States today. I'm not really sure. The size of government should be reduced as much as possible. Strongly agree. The death penalty is a pretty bad idea all around. Strongly agree. The separation of church and state is more important than the teaching of morals in uh, public school. Um, I'm kind of indifferent because they're both they both suck. <laughs> abortion is murder, and if it can't be totally outlawed, at least outlawed, at least we should end late term abortions. Um, disagree, but not strongly. Well, yeah, strongly disagree. Taxes are basically theft. Strongly agree. Dictatorship is an appropriate temporary step towards freedom. Strongly disagree. Fuck you, Marx. Um, I like micromanagement. A group can't stay organized if everyone is making their own decisions. Strongly disagree. Big companies need to be protected since they're engine of the economy. Strongly fucking disagree. As Descartes, uh, Descartes conformity. Wow. I just realized, by the way, your name today is Desecrate Conformity. So basically you're trying to desecrate create the notion of conformity. I don't know why it never really clicked with me until now. herp a derp Anyway, the state should be responsible for protecting the most vulnerable segments of society. Well, like Desecrate Conformity said, um, no, it shouldn't, but that doesn't mean, you know, I want to leave these vulnerable people alone. The working class has been oppressed by the ownership class for as long as anyone can rem remember. Pretty much agree, yeah. There's really nothing wrong with large bureaucracy. It's the only way to manage so many, uh, so many people. Strongly disagree. Laws are only useful if you're trying to control the population. Eh, somewhat disagree. Laws can be useful in general, uh, but I think laws here are actually meant to be state laws, but I'm not sure, so I'm going to say neutral. People would be better off with no government at all. Strongly agree, of course. The straight state should provide all social services. Strongly disagree. I don't care what straight state services they're talking about. 
The state should control the means of production. Strongly disagree. The free market will solve all the big problems on its own. No need for the state to butt in. I somewhat agree, but the free market won't solve all the big problems on its own. We're going to need a lot more than the free market, in my opinion. Oops. Okay. Sometimes a dictator is the only one who can get things done. Strongly disagree. Taxes are necessarily evil. Necessary evil. Strongly disagree. The United States should use its military to protect its key interests. Strongly disagree. Take my gun away out of my cold, dead hands. Maybe. What? <laughs> um. Somewhat agree. Nah. Somewhat agree. Cause I don't know the whole gung ho gun the whole gun ho about guns. No, it's really gung ho. The gung ho thing about guns. I don't know. So, so it sometimes bothers me. All governments are oppressive. Strongly agree. The government only ever serves the needs of a select few. Strongly agree. The state tends to be better at providing certain services than the private sector. Um, I'm gonna mostly disagree with that. It depends on what you're talking about, the relation that you're talking about, and what you define as better kind of very contextual here. Environmental regulations infringe too much on the right to private property. I'm not sure. It probably does, but I don't know. I'll somewhat agree because it probably does. Efficiency is more important than humanitarianism. I don't know about that. Um, eh, I don't know. Free market can generally do most things better than the state. Strongly agree. See, generally, that's a much better statement. No one should have the right to tell me what to do with my property. Uh, I, uh, I'm undecided about that. Um, not all rights violations are moral violations and vice versa. So sometimes violations of human decency, I know that's a general term. I'm not going to get def get into defining it. But I don't know. Sometimes I feel like people get very... Um, just too defensive of property for their own good. It's started becomes a property absol absolutism of property, and you start having, you know, well, you can't tell me what to do with my property, even if it's like doing X, even because I don't define X as a right infringing. I'm talking about from libertarians' perspective, so they're usually involved with rights, or maybe they're involved with consequences. So X doesn't provide bad consequences, therefore I can do it, or I don't see it providing bad consequences, or it's not a rights violation. Anyway, I just have problems with it. I have too many problems to have a firm commitment either way on that one. Although I learn, I lean towards disagreeing, but I, I don't know. All decisions should be made at the most local level possible. Strongly agree. Okay, let's see where it puts me. Calculating results. Where are you putting me? I scored as anarchism. Who needs a state? Not you, it seems. You're an anarchist. Go forth and start the revolution. Uh, of the crazy and wild people. Then sit around the fire in which there were still some doctors. Well, that's uh, stupid. So anarchism is 80%. Uh, libertarian, 70%. To Democrat, 33 Socialism, 30 23 Republican. 7% fascist. Fuck yeah. Um, okay, cool. Um, so, yeah, there we go. Uh, again, 80% anarchism, 70% libertarian. Democrat is at 33. Socialism, 30. Republicanism, 23. Fascist, 7%. So, fuck yeah, fascism. Okay, so, um, now I want to take the, take the test. I want to take the political compass. So this one is a lot stronger. A uh, lot stronger. Sorry, I was reading the strongly agree, strongly disagree stuff. So this one is a little bit longer with six pages. Um, I, I think Descrate Conformity might have taken a different test. He said it was Quiz Farm, and he was, says it was called the Political Ideology Test or something. So I'm guessing it was that one. Um, oh, well, I'm just going to hope it was. Because I could have sworn he said, oh, no, wait, you know what? I, I, I he It was that one, and you know what I'm thinking about? I'm thinking about this one. Um, so never mind. So, <clears throat> page one of six. Uh, if economic globalization is inevitable, it should primarily serve humanity rather than the interests of transnational corporations. I agree. Although I don't know that globalization is inevitable, therefore... Well, I don't know how globalization would serve humanity as opposed to transnational corporations or what that would look like or mean, but I'll agree because humanity is better than transnational corporations. 
I'd always support my country, whether it's right or wrong, strongly disagree. No one chooses his or our country or of birth, so it's foolish to be proud of it. Um, agree, but that's not the only thing that really goes into being proud of where you're from, so I'm going to have to only agree, not strongly agree. Our race has many superior qualities compared with other races. It, it might. Um, I, I kind of would say agree, because maybe it does. I don't know. I don't know, many superior qualities, that, that seems kind of iffy. So I'll, I'll disagree. The enemy of my enemy is my friend. I uh, disagree. That's never really worked out as a good tactic, to my knowledge, historically speaking. Military action that defies international law is sometimes justified. Dis strongly disagree, excuse me. There is now a worrying fusion of information and entertainment. Yeah, I agree. Kind of like uh, a brave new world. All right. Um, people are ultimately divided more by class than by nationality. I kind of agree. Controlling inflation is more important than controlling unemployment. Um, I don't know. Huh. I've never been one much for economics. Controlling inflation is more important than controlling unemployment. Well, inflation controls what the poor will use. And if they have a better source of money, they'll probably have better chances to get employed. Um, so maybe that, yeah, maybe agree. Maybe that does somehow treat the root of the problem rather than the branch. I don't know. Because corporations cannot be trusted to protectly, voluntarily protect the environment, they require regulation. Um, yeah, strongly d disagree, even though I think the environment should be protected by, you know, community organizing and voluntary collectives and stuff like that. From each according to his ability to each according to his need is a fundamentally good idea. I'm not sure exactly what that idea still means because I haven't really... I don't know. I guess I could look it up, couldn't I? But uh, I'm here to take tests, so I won't. So I disagreed. It's a sad re reflection on a society that something as basic as drinking water is now bottled branded consumer product. <laughs> yeah, strongly agree. That's fucking ridiculous when you actually think about it. Land shouldn't be a commodity to be bought and sawed, sold. Uh, disagree. I don't wish to impose my views like that on everyone. It's regret regrettable that many personal fortunes are made by people who simply manipulate money and contribute nothing to society. Strongly agree. Protectionism is something sometimes necessary in trade. Strongly disagree. The only social responsibility of a company should be to deliver profit to its shareholders. Strongly disagree. The rich are too highly taxed. Uh, strongly disagree. Well, uh, I'll disagree. Because everyone's too highly taxed. <laughs> uh, those with the ability to pay should have the right to higher standards in mil Medicare. Disagree. A government should penalize businesses that mislead the public. Um, disagree. A genuine free market restrict. See, this makes me sound like I, I just want to let everything be, but that's only because you're just saying governments and you're not... It's a false dichotomy. Anyway, a genuine free market requires restrictions on the ability or of predator multinationals to create monopolies. Yeah, strongly agree. The freer the market, the freer the people. Strongly agree. Abortion, when the woman's life is not threatened, should always be illegal. I disagree. All authorities should be questioned. Strongly, 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 strongly agreed. An eye for an eye, tooth for a tooth. Strongly disagree. I really don't like revenge. I don't see the point in it. I don't really see the point in hating people. Taxpayers should not be expected to prop up any theaters or museums that cannot survive on a commercial basis. Strongly agree. Schools should not make classroom attendance compulsory. So much strongly agree. So much. <laughs> all people have their rights, but it's better for all of us that different sorts of people should keep to their own kind. I uh, disagree. Uh, I think diversity is a good thing. Good parents sometimes have to spank their children. Disagree. I don't like spanking, and I don't think you need to do it. Natural for children who keep some secrets from their parents. I don't know about that word natural. I really don't like that word. But I suppose it's more likely, yes, that they would. Uh, possessing marijuana for personal use should not be a criminal offense. Strongly fucking agree, even though I don't smoke myself. The prime function of schooling should be to equip the further generation to find jobs. Strongly disagree. People with serious inheritable disabilities should not be allowed to reproduce. Strongly disagree. That's some brave new world bullshit. The most important thing for children to learn is to accept dis a discipline. Disagree. Though discipline is a good thing. I think discipline gets a bad rap from libertarians because they kind of conflate discipline with like obedience or blind obedience. But discipline is just um, having a structure of what to do and knowing how to do it. And that's not inherently a bad thing, but typically how it comes out in practice is bad. So... I'm only disagreeing. I'm not strongly disagreeing. 
Um, so, there are no savage and civilized peoples. There are only different cultures. I disagree. There are savage and civilized people, but not typically how it's drawn, I think, in the history books. Those who are able to work and refuse the opportunity should not expect society to support. Disagree. Um, I don't know if they should expect it, but that doesn't mean they should be cut off from it. When you are troubled, and that, you know, that kind of presumes that we always will need work. I'm not, I'm not post, I'm not like, um, I'm not one of those, uh, uh, Venus Project people, but, um, or post-scarcity kind of guy, but, you know, I do kind of question how much work will be necessary in anarchist society as opposed to now, because now you've got, like, a lot of laborers working for big corporations that need to do all these deliveries to, you know, and they got all these subsidies on transportation and uh, intellectual property helps them maintain a monopoly on their products. I don't know, it seems like a lot less work would be needed without these things, but, I don't know, maybe I'm wrong. Uh, no, not a huge deal if I am. I don't have a very strong opinion on it, but just kind of a glancing sort of opinion. When you're troubled, it's best not to think about it, but to keep busy with more cheerful things. I disagree. I might even strongly disagree with that. Uh, I disagree, because you can sometimes overthink it, and then it really gets shitty. <clears throat> but I do think you should, you know, analyze it uh, a bit. First-generation immigrants can never be fully integrated within the next country. Their new country, disagree. I strongly disagree. Well, because I reject the idea of immigrants, at least in the current context, and countries in the current context. What what good for the most successful corporation is always ultimately good for the whole of us. I strongly fucking disagree, of course. No broadcasting institution, however independent its content, should receive public funding. Strongly agree, because public funding is just another word for taxation, and taxation is just another word for theft. Our civil liberties are being excessively curbed in the name of counterterrorism. Strongly agree. Uh, a significant advantage of a one-party state is that it avoids all arguments that delay progress in a democratic political system. <laughs> um, disagree? But, I don't know. Although, the, well, I do know, but, I mean, that's just ridiculous. Although the electronic age makes official surveillance er, easier, only wrongdoers need to be worried. Strongly disagree. The death penalty should be an option for the most serious crime. Strongly disagree. Again, I don't like revenge. I don't find that much use in it. In a civilized society, one must always have people above to be obeyed and people below to be commanded. Strongly disagree. Because as before, uh, unlike before, with discipline, this seems a lot more authoritarian and power-based, or unequal, unequally power-based. Abstract, abstract art that doesn't represent anything shouldn't be considered art at all. Disagree. It's in the eye of the beholder, pretty much. And criminal justice punishment should be more important than rehabilitation. I strongly disagree. Uh, punishment is largely a waste of time. I think re rehabilitation is where it's at. It's a waste of time to try to rehabilitate some criminals. Uh, disagree. I'm pretty sure you could rehabilitate just about anyone with the right coaxing and methods. But that doesn't mean you'll always win and you'll always be successful. So that's why I'm only disagreeing. Not strongly disagreeing. The businessman and the manufacturer are more important than the writer and the artist. I disagree, but that's biased because I am a writer and an artist. Mothers may have careers, but their first duty is to be house ho homemakers. Strongly disagree. I hate gender norms. Um, I don't hate gender norms, but I, I hate putting people in little boxes and saying you must stay there and never leave it, you know. Um, which that statement is clearly doing. Multinational corporations are unethically exploiting the plant genetic resources of developing countries. Um, I'm sure they are. Agree. Making peace with the establishment is an important aspect of maturity. Strongly disagree. Astrology accurately explains many things. I don't know how... Uh... So I guess these are propositions on religion, but I don't really know. I guess that has some relation to do with politics. Desecrate conformity was confused why they brought up those things. Anyway, I uh, disagree. You cannot be moral without being religious. Strongly disagree. I'm an atheist. Charity is better than social security as a means of helping the genuinely disadvantaged. I disagree. Uh, mutual aid and solidarity is better than charity. Some people are naturally unlucky. Disagree. It's important that my child's school instill religious, 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 religious values. Strongly disagree. Finally, a look at sex. Sex outside marriage is usually immoral. Strongly disagree. Same-sex couple in a stable, loving relationship should not be excluded from the possibility of child adoption. Uh, what? Yes. Strongly agree. Pornography depicting consenting adults should be legal for the adult population. Strongly agree. What goes on in a private bedroom between consenting adults is no business of the state. Strongly agree. No one can feel naturally homosexual. I disagree. Uh, these days, openness about sex has gone too far. Strongly disagree. Now, let's see where you stand. Uh, 
Economic left right oh, negative 0 0.38. Social libertarian authoritarian 7. Point. Ha! Suck it, that's great conformity. I'm a left libertarian, but just barely. Um, basically, really, really barely. Uh, I'm just on the cusp of being on the center of left and right libertarian, but I'm just on the left. So suck it. Um, anyway, just kidding. Just making a joke. Um, I don't know if I can link that to you. I will see if I can link that to you. But I'm just barely on the left. Barely. And you're just barely on the right. So, whatever. But I agree, this 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 quiz is stupid, and so is the other one. Let's see if the C4SS quiz is any better. <clears throat> so the opening, um, let's read the opening. Or I'll read the opening, see if it's worth reading. So basically, it says the C4SS Find Your Philosophy quiz is an experiment, so it's not solid, designed to help make these distinctions between views about goals and views of, about ways of reaching those goals more clear and to enable anarchists to understand and highlight both their similarities and with differences from status who may be their allies, adversaries, or conversation partners. It is designed to help place you along five separate spectra, economic leftist slash economic rightist, civil libertarian slash civil authoritarian, Sociocultural liberal, sociocultural conservative, anti militarist, pro militarist, and anarchist slash statist. There are 106 fucking questions here. Sorry, I in inserted that fucking right there. I inserted that fucking. <laughs> which I'm so immature, I know. Which aim to do so with a fine degree of granularity. Now, I've heard people complain about this that it's still imprecise and that it's still, you know. Um, not that great. Well, notice this next paragraph. The quiz is a work in progress. We welcome your feedback and we look forward to working with you to improve the value, its value as an analytical and educu educational tool. Educush. This is version 1.0 and you can leave f feedback on the f f feedback in the comments on the quiz dot announcement um, dot uh, quiz announcement post. So, let's see if there have actually been some comments. I'm sure there have. There has to be by now. <clears throat> 75 cons, yeah, definitely. Okay, well, I don't know how that turned out. You can ch check it out for yourself. So let's get on with this. Uh, 106 questions, let's see how I do. A child of mine who married a person with religious beliefs different from mine would probably make me very uncomfortable by doing so. I disagree. I could probably be open to someone, uh, you know, my one of my kids marrying someone who's religious, you know. Um, I could probably deal with it. Um, but I would be somewhat uncomfortable, I'm sure, if it was somebody like Santorum or God, anybody like him, remotely like him. Um, it w that would make me uncomfortable, but not because of their religion, but just because they're fucked up. <laughs> anyway, a government may justifiably make war, no, disagree, strongly disagree, against another government in order to bring about the adoption of desirable social and political values in the society ruled by that government. Also, I guess, according to Death's Great Conformity, Kevin Carson came up with this quiz, or somebody else said that, I forget who, um, but that's cool. I like Carson. A member of a, uh, as a writer, I mean, <laughs> a member of a particular cultural or religious group should accept most or all aspects of the group's identity as a package, at least in general. She or he should never ignore them or seek to change them. Strongly disagree. Engaging in sex is wrong if one seeks to prevent con uh, conception. What? Engaging in sex is wrong if one seeks to disagree. I mean, I guess to some extent, sure, but mostly no. A society whose leaders speak frequently about the importance of freedom need only fear attacks from those who hate freedom. Yeah, I'm with Desecrate. This, what, what? I, I guess, agree, I guess. I mean, it would logically follow, wouldn't it? An entity that offers vital services to the public must be able to require everyone to pay for its services to keep some people from being free riders. Strongly disagree. Big business and government only work hand in hand. Strongly agree. The one po partner is sometimes more powerful than the other. That's that's a very good important thing to add, and that's definitely a Carsonian point. Birth and breeding fits some people, although other left libertarians have made that point too. So I guess it's not specifically Carson. Birth and breeding fit some of p some people for positions of command, and others for positions of service. Strongly disagree. Business organizations and nonprofits are more effective when headed by powerful leaders who are readily obeyed by their subordinates than when responsible then responsibility for making decisions is widely shared. Strongly disagree. Businesses that are too big to fail should be bailed out at taxpayers' expense if they seem likely to collapse. Strongly disagree. 
Children should generally be subject to the authority of their parents until they are economically self-sufficient. I strongly disagree. Citizens su suspected of involvement in terrorism should not receive the same procedural protections as those ac accused of other crimes. Strongly disagree. Collective bargaining is often a fair, appropriate way for workers to protect their interests in relation to managers and investors. Investors, Yeah, I agree. Sometimes it is, anyway. Um, corporations that perform tasks that government judges to be important should receive subsidies if they need to support if they need support in order to perform these tasks, strongly disagree. Criminal penalties should be used to discourage people from consuming chemical substances, strongly disagree. Widely agreed to be harmful. If they're already widely agreed to be harmful, why would people be taking them? And the people that did take them probably wouldn't listen to the law anyway, so it seems stupid to me. Dissent regarding political, scientific, and cultural issues helps to keep a society healthy, healthy strongly, strongly agree. Expressing opposition to the policies of a society's dominant institutions is disloyal and should be actively discouraged. Strongly disagree. Even in my left libertarian utopia, I would strongly disagree with that. Going to war saps the society's resources and leads to dramatic increases in government power. I strongly fucking agree. Taxes are the price we pay to live in a civilized society. No, strongly disagree. Government is necessary to keep people from experiencing dire poverty and economic vulnerability. Strongly disagree. I said strongly disagree. There we go. I can reasonably force other people not to copy books, music, or indus industrial devices and processes I've created, whether or not they, they use their own possession to do so, whether or not they've agreed not to do so, and whether or not I have placed them so that they can be obtained in someone else's property. I strongly, oh, it's not strongly agree, but strongly disagree. I should participate in and support social institutions that assist people who are poor, sick, or handicapped. I agree, but there shouldn't be any obligation for me to. You know, maybe a sense that it'd be the right thing to do, but eh, not much more than that, maybe. Maybe. Maybe go further. I don't know. I would be uncomfortable if a child of mine married a person of the same sex. I disagree. It'd probably discomfort me on some level, I'm sure, but not to the level that, you know, fundamentalist Christians or whatever, pick your, ch pick your choice, pick your poison, would say. So if a bus business pollutes the air I breathe, the water I drink, I should be able to hold it legally accountable by suing it for damage to my body and possessions. Yes, strongly agree. If economic arrangements were significantly more just than they are present, it would be much easier than it is for now to people to for people to work in partnerships or cooperatives or to work for themselves. Well, that kind of begs the question of what you mean by more just. But sure, I strongly agree because I know where Carson is coming from. If I vote in elections for officials or government, I'm agreeing that the government rightly exercises authority over me. Strongly disagree. Lysander Spooner, Herbert Spencer, and Gary Chartier in his uh, um, just in the first chapter of. The conscience of an anarchist. There goes my cell phone. The conscience of an anarchist. Um, let me see if that's showing up well. Yeah, the conscience of an anarchist. Why it's time to say goodbye to the state and build a free society. Um, yeah, he explains just in the first chapter how that's bullshit. Let me just get my phone. Okay, there we go. Sorry about that. Just wanted to get my phone. Okay. If there were no government, life would be solitary, poor, nasty, brutish, and short. Strongly disagree. In cases in which pe people wrongly accuse, uh, cause harm to others, the primary focus of the legal system should be on securing restitution for those who have been harmed. Yeah, I agree. I, sometimes restitution even seems to have its own limits, though, but whatever. In the absence of privileges secured by the state, such as subsidies, subsidies mono monopoly, or oligopoly privileges, the price of a product will frequently tend toward the price of the labor required to produce it. Yeah, I, uh, I don't know for sure, but that sounds likely to me. In today's economy, managers often make agreements with workers on terms they would resent if the roles and those of the workers were reversed. Yeah, strongly agree. In Western societies today, big businesses are persecute minority group. <laughs> Fuck you, Rand. Increased surveillance protects everyone's security and threatens only those who wish to conceal inappropriate behavior. Uh, that's basically the question I've been asked before on the political compass. Strongly disagree. Individual women and men should be able to define their own social rules without regard to gender expectations. Strongly fucking agree. It is a good idea for governments in today's world to maintain a very large military establishment. Strongly disagree. In order to be uh, ready to mount a defensive war at any time. It is appropriate for someone to pick and choose from among the elements of a cultural or religious tradition with which he or he decides to affiliate. Um, sure, I agree. Why not? It is especially important that people have access to weapons to protect themselves against authoritarian violence. 
violence, wow, by the state. Yes, agree. Strongly agree. It is important to keep try to keep assumptions about the groups about the group or groups to which a person belongs from getting in the way of seeing the person in his or her own particularity. I agree, but not strongly agree, because it is important also to keep in context the groups, the group or groups that they associate with. So both are important, but overemphasizing the groups and not the individual is a, probably a bigger problem. So it is morally so. I so I agree, but I don't strongly agree. It is morally appropriate to attack non-combatants in order to hasten the end of an otherwise just war. Uh, disagree, but there's no real morality in war, it doesn't seem, so I don't know. It is perfectly appropriate to engage in sex in order to experience pleasure or to bring the participants closer to each other, whether or not one that seeks to procreate. Strongly agree. Legal restrictions on media content are appropriate if they're designed to protect the children. Think of the children. Um, I disagree. I'm sure there's some scenario in which you could actually have the legitimate save the children stance though maybe not the hyperbole of today but um it is reasonable to restrict restrict people's access to accurate information during wartime for their own good strongly disagree threatening to use weapons of mass destruction against non-combatant populations is reasonable if doing so seems likely to prevent war um strongly disagree i'm sure you can come up with something else use your fucking imagination um, it is sometimes morally acceptable to use force, perhaps if not necessarily up to and including forcible exile or execution, to compel someone to follow the dictates of government she or he does not accept, just because they are, just because they are the dictates of that government. I, of course, strongly disagree. You are obliged to accept someone's pos positional authority only if you've consented to it, and even then only if that person asks you to do something that is not immoral. I, I agree. I, I'm not a big fan of obligations, but... That seems pretty solid to me. Eh, whatever. Laws and social norms protecting freedom of speech should safeguard only the expression of true beliefs. Strongly disagree, because what a true belief is up for grabs all the time. Up for debate, I mean. Letting people fend for themselves without help from others is often appropriate because it will promote the efficient use of resources and weed out the unfit. I strongly disagree. Mutual aid and solidarity and community organizing is very important to me. Most people in developed countries today are too lazy or unskilled to work without the supervision of managers. Strongly disagree. Although that might be true, but that doesn't... Uh, okay, I'll disagree, because it might be true to some extent or another, but that, I think that's largely a result of conditioning, not because we have to be. One government's use of force against another often breeds resentment and provokes retaliation even by people with no love for the government under attack. I strongly agree. That's called the blowback theory. Only people who share my religious views can exp experience ultimate fulfillment. I strongly disagree. And plus, what ultimate fulfillment is... is up for up for uh, discussion. Also, uh, what the fuck that even means is up for discussion, uh, and blah blah blah. And that's just a stupid term anyway. Ordinary workers lack the talent, skills, and temperaments they would need if they, they were trying to organize the work lives, and make managerial or executive level. Again, ordinary workers today, but I think ordinary workers in the future, no. At least if we are in a truly free society, parents should be free to decide whether the education their children receive is provided by the government. Um, yeah, strongly agree. I think homeschooling and unschooling um, and community schooling is awesome. Um, people should be able to move freely around the world in search of work, not limiting their search for work by borders. Strongly agree? Yeah, because the, he means in the borders in the current sense, national sense, regional, whatever. People should be expected to follow the establishment traditions of their cultures and acknowledge their values. Strongly disagree. The questioning, always questioning. People should be subjected to legal penalties for distributing text or images others find as offensive. I, I disagree. I'm sure. Again, I'm sure there's some scenario in which something is so obviously offensive and so stupidly done and whatever that maybe they could be subjected to some minor legal penalty. I don't know. Even that's sketchy to me. So don't take that too, you know, powerfully. People who work at a large corporation or nonprofit uh, should be entitled to take it over if it is primarily supported by tax dollars or if it is wealthy because of market skewed in favor of government granted privileges. Yeah, I strongly agree. Uh, Rothbard's uh, homesteading principle or uh, confiscation in the homestead principle. Let's move on. Number 56. People who wrongly cause harm to others deserve retributive, retributive pu punishment. Strongly disagree. 
It's not restitution, by the way. That's getting back at them sort of punishment. Uh, people with the capacity to deploy vast quantities of military power should use that power to promote stability, trade, and democracy around the world. Strongly disagree. Presuming I accept money or other benefits of the government, I cannot reasonably challenge the government's authority. Again, check out Gary Chartier's first chapter of um, of uh, the Conscious of an Anarchist. He he lays this all out, beautifully demonstrates how these are bullshit arguments. So strongly disagree. Other people have too, but you know. Uh, I'm just na na naming. The, I'm just naming someone who I've recently read who does that. Preventative military action against a society or group not engaged in active preparation for an attack can be appropriate. Uh, I disagree. Uh, it's really shady, so I won't strongly disagree. Privileges conferred by the state lead to unequal exploitative exchanges. I strongly agree, of course. Professional managers are vital to the success of a typical for-profit or not-for-profit organization. Strongly disagree. Representing the conscience of a community, a jury should judge the law as well as the facts in a legal case. I agree, but, you know, in the current sense, they hardly ever do, it seems. Rich societies should share wealth with uh, producers in poor societies by allowing free entry to the goods and services they provide rather than imposing trade barriers on them. Strongly agree. Self-employment or work as a member of a cooperative or partnership is generally preferable to working for a boss. All other things being all other things being equal, strongly agree. Sex must take place inside marriage in order to be morally responsible. Strongly disagree. I've never heard a good case for that. Sexual expression is only morally legitimate between two people of different sexes. Strongly disagree. Yep, strongly disagree. Should one of my children marry a person from a different ethnic group, I would be uncomfortable. Um. I think in the sense that they mean by uncomfortable, like heavily uncomfortable, I think that's a hidden premise or a, sm a smuggled in pre uh, pre premise. Um, so I'll say disagree, but I wouldn't say strongly disagree. I might be to some extent or another. That doesn't make me a racist, though. Um, since the air and water are common resources, businesses should, should be free to pollute them. Strongly disagree. Someone should be able to homestead land and acquire a title to it when the legal owner doesn't cultivate or otherwise use it for a reasonably long period. What's reasonably long is up for debate, but yeah, I kind of agree with that. Not totally, but kind of. So just regular agree. So, but, you know, uh, eh, I'm unsure. Someone who who is using his or her own possessions or is using the possessions of others to which she has voluntarily been given. Now before, there is she and he. Now there's just she. What? She has voluntarily been given access, should be subject to no legal penalties for distributing any text, image, or sound she likes. I agree. I strongly agree, actually. Sometimes a corporation can benefit the public most effectively when it enjoys legal guaranteed monopoly. Strongly disagree. States may sometimes justly use military force to promote the business interests of their citizens. I can see why no one really takes does this online, because it's really probably boring. Anyway, states may sometimes justly use military force to promote the business interests of their citizens. So I only disagree. Laws and regulations which politicians say are designed to restrain big businesses, businesses often serve to protect the interests of big business. Strongly agree. The authority of a parent over child and husband over wife, learned over simple, is an inherent part of a reasonably ordered human society, even if it should be limited because of its potential for abuse. Um, I... I don't know. I disagree, and I also strongly disagree about the husband over wife. I really don't agree about authority. Yeah, I guess I strongly disagree, but I still have some reservations. The belief that people should be basically equal in social status is morally reprehensible. Destructive of freedom and social authority. Disagree. Wait, what? Yeah, I disagree. Uh, it depends on what you mean by social status, but you could mean some things that are bad, so I don't know. I don't necessarily agree either, or I don't necessarily strongly disagree either. The distribution of wealth and power in many societies in today's world reflects systematic theft of land and other resources to the predictable advantage of those who hold political and economic power. Strongly agree. The emergence of a government with an, an entity, entity with a monopoly of force in a given territory is inevitable. Strongly disagree, for the most part. I mean, eventually, anarchy might stop and then government may come back. I don't know. But it's my hope that it doesn't, unless we figure out that we do need government of some sort or another. But, I don't know, come to that bridge when we cross it, which maybe never. 
Government central planners can often set production levels and determine distribution patterns for goods and services more rationally than producers and consumers can do so. Strongly disagree. That's why I support consumer and producer co-ops, just like worker cooperatives. The government should be able to draft people to serve in the military strongly, strongly, strongly disagree. The masses are inferior. All the, all, all the improvements in their conditions which they simply take for granted they owe to the efforts of people who are clearly better than they are. Strongly disagree, you hoppy and fuck. They need to protect people from violence. Just uh, the need to protect people from to violence justifies the government in claiming a monopoly on force in a given territory. Well, it can, but it doesn't always. Um, oh, that justif Oh, the need to protect people justifies. No, strongly disagree. Never mind. Never mind. I thought they were saying historically, it did or or it has to. Or and anyway, never mind. I strongly disagree. The objectives politicians say they are pursuing when they are called for war are usually objectives they are really pursuing. Strongly disagree. Usually for gas or other corporate interest or money to inter uh, interests. The occurrence of a large disparities in wealth in a community rarely, if ever, lead to undesirable consequences for most members of the community. <laughs> Strongly disagree. Um, those who are good, though, there are good reasons for me to support arrangements in accordance with which people who can't afford decent health care can obtain it anyway. Yeah, I agree. But not strongly agree. Uh, there's no particular moral reason for me to help people who cannot help themselves. I disagree. I'm sure there is. I can't think of one off the top of my head, but there might be. I don't know. There's no way effectively to provide goods and services like roads, light hole, lighthouses, defense, the prevention of pollution, and protection against economic insecurity without government. <gasps> the roads. Shit, guys. Have to give up on anarchy now. No, just kidding. Um, strongly disagree. There, uh, those in a typical modern society who are the wealthiest are also likely to be the most gifted, uh, creative, gifted, dynamic, and achievement oriented. Strongly disagree. Those who oppose government policies during wartime should be silenced. Strongly disagree, of course. To ensure that people grow up embracing common values, it is crucial that everyone be required or heavily encouraged to attend government schools. Strongly disagree. To ensure the safety of ordinary people, the state should confiscate privately owned weapons or strictly regulate their use. Strongly disagree. Torture is an appropriate tool for information gathering in war. Strongly disagree. It's typically not effective, and it's immoral anyway. It, it, wow. I just said before, war is sort of a morally gray area. I don't know. Strongly disagree, just because it's just usually not effective. I, I don't know. Appropriate could mean effective or moral, but... I don't know. I, I don't think it's very effective. People say whatever they want just to get out of the torture. I know that's a pretty typical response, but I've never heard anyone counter it, so until I do, I won't really rethink really that obvious response. True monopolies cannot exist in a free market economy, and ours is a free market economy, so no true, true monopolies exist. Um, oh, shit. Well, this is the same problem uh, Desecrate De Conformity had. Um, yeah, I mean, I agree, but I don't agree that that uh, ours is a free... Tr so I, I guess I must disagree. Tariffs and subsidies should be used to encourage people to buy the products of domestic rather than foreign manufacturers. Strongly disagree. The tariff monopoly's got to go. Just like Tucker said. Um, how many questions are there? Um, one second. 106. Well, that's an odd number. <laughs> Why do they have 106? That's such a weird number to stop at. But okay, whatever. Um, I'm at uh, I'm at I'm at 94 now. So use military force in faraway lands, or using military force in faraway lands, is often necessary to protect a society against future attack. Um, I strongly disagree. Uh, vigorous social authority embodied in the family, church, and other mediating institutions is the bedrock of the good society. Strongly disagree. Wealthy people often use their influence over the government to gain legal privileges for themselves and take resources from poor, working class, and middle class people. Strongly agree. Were not necessary to restrain the pension uh, to abuse power, patriarchal monarchy would be the only reasonable form of government. No, Bash is the hop of fuck. The hoppy and fuck. Uh, whatever means necessary should be used to promote the practice of a dominant religion sh to ensure cohesion and the widespread acceptance of... Um, no, I strongly disagree. Um, when it seems that someone else might react violently to someone, something a public speaker says, the speaker should be forced to stop speaking strongly disagree. Somebody just needs to control themselves better, and it's not the speaker. When people have done wrong, it is appropriate to limit their freedom for the specific purpose of fully rehabilitating them and ensuring they have adjusted to the challenge of life in society. I, um, 
<sighs> That's a tough one. I kind of agree and I kind of disagree. I kind of agree because if you're not following the the rules of the the community that you've already agreed to, and I think agreement it would be a lot more easy, not perfect, but a lot more easy in the anarchist society than um, the current one. Um, I don't know that your freedom should be limited because that sounds like you're putting them in prison. I'm against prisons on the wholesale, not even private prisons. So I don't know. Um, shit. Let's read it again. When people have done wrong, it is appropriate to limit their freedom for the specific purpose of fully rehabilitating them and ensuring that they have adjusted to the challenges of life in society. I don't know. Disagree, because that's too far reaching. W what wrongs? How wrong does it have to be? You know, whatever. When people work in sweatshops, it is often because violence engaged or intolerated by the state has made it hard for them to support themselves in other ways. I strongly agree. When politicians in general say that the rules of civilized warfare are being respected in military conflict, we can usually believe them. Um, I strongly disagree. Where, when it, where it occurs, the large-scale ownership of land reflects military and political effort. It is initiated and maintained by force. Strongly agree. While they should feel free to offer advice, parents should typically not use emotional or economic pressure to control adolescents' sexual activity. Strongly agree. That's really unfair because the adolescent is very vulnerable in a very vulnerable monetary and emotional uh, state, so it's not fair to use that against them. You should not be subject to legal penalties just because you consume a chemical substance. Strongly agree. States have the right to control their borders and determine who does not does and does not enter their territory. Strongly disagree. I am finished. Please show me my philosophy. Okay. I am an 88% economic leftist. I don't know what you got. Desecrate. I forget what you got. 82% uh, oh um 97% anarchist damn 3% uh 82% anti-militarist um 85% socio-cultural liberal 83% civil libertarian it actually repeats it twice i don't know why okay well anyway that's all the quizzes uh moving on so I want to thank everybody. I got a hundred subscribers now. Awesome! Uh, I, I it's pretty much due to my responses to <laughs> due to due to my responses to uh, Lenth Gunnar. Basically, has gotten me over the top. Uh, I was gonna do another response um, by a, a girl who's an ANCAP, I guess, who was criticizing Carson, but. Invincible Newman has already did one, so fuck me sideways. Um, Josh Brooks is being awesome. I'm gonna link his channel in the in the in the description just because he's being really cool right now. He's talking about how he's uh, how he became a left libertarian. I'm really excited to see another person in the left libertarian milieu besides myself. And uh, um, Invincible Numanist, I think, is a left libertarian. And there's a few other people here and there, uh, but we're all scattershot, of course. Not many of us. Um, and I hope to get started on all one, um, excuse me, uh, the ALL YouTube channel. Um, I have a Children Richmond uh, video that I'm going to be working on, uh, but I don't know when. I've, I've just been tied up with so many other things. So I apologize that all, that the uh, All Toward Liberty has not been done. But 100 subscribers, that's really cool. I'm really happy people are starting to get more in, in touch with my channel. And um, So here's what, we, what I got up next for you. Uh, more base covers. I know I haven't been doing them lately, but um, Lenth Unarther has just kept me really fucking busy. But now that I'm done with him, um, until I get other video responses or s stuff like that, um, yeah, I'm not going to... Uh, I wasn't going to be... A, or I, I'll try to maintain a regular schedule. So, uh, in the future, I'm going to be doing base. Um, I'm going to be redoing my Volturi and Declare presentation. I'll be doing a full two hours of it. Um, I might do some more poetry. Um, I might do some vlogging from the Anarchist Book Fair this week. I literally just thought of doing that, but maybe not. I don't know. I don't have that much memory, probably. Um, so, yeah, I, I've got other things to think about, too, like Green Ghost 20, 2008, who otherwise known as Josh, or a.k.a. Josh Brooks. Uh, I hope it's okay to mention your name here, man. Uh, sorry if it's not. Yikes. Um, anyway, um, he, uh, I, I might do some video responses to him, uh, not because I think he's terribly wrong or something, but I, I might want to clarify the differences between ANCAPs and left libertarians some more. Um, what else? 
I don't know. That seems about it. Um, thanks, uh, Desk Great Conformity, for doing these uh, videos and getting me to do them. My voice is kind of hoarse, of course, by now. I gotta go to bed in uh, uh, almost an hour from now, so. Um, I hope to see you guys soon. Uh, hopefully, I'll up upload that all that video for the uh, Left Libertarian YouTube Collective pretty soon, but don't count on it. I'm pretty swamped with other things, so. Um, I, I'm actually wearing my ALL shirt right now, which I'll show off. Bam. So, anyway, I think that's it. Uh, expect base covers, poetry, writing, Voltaire and Declare, responses to Green Ghost, whatever. I think that's about it. This has probably been uh, one hour and 40. I don't know when I stopped or when I started. It's probably been uh, 30, to minute, 30 minutes, 45 minutes, 45 minutes to an hour. So we'll see in the video editing process what happened. All right. Bye, guys.